In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on revenue maximization and profit maximization. This question was asked by a brother on Telegram. The question is like this. Given a firm that is engaged in production of bags and faced with a cost function, this is a cost function of a firm that is C is equal to 1500 plus 100Q. Q denotes the output, C denotes the cost. And the demand function for bags is being given us as Q is equal to 250 minus 0.5P where P denotes the price. We have to determine the output of a sales revenue maximizer, maximizer and that of profit maximizer. That is how much uh, output will be produced if the goal is to maximize the revenue and how much uh, uh, you know output should be produced if the aim is to maximize profit. Okay. So let's see it one by one. What we are being given, we are being given the cost function is C is equal to 100, sorry, 1500 plus 100Q. This is the cost function. And we are also being given the demand function is Q is equal to 250 minus 0.5P. Okay. So first we will see the output that will be produced if the goal is to maximize the revenue okay so for that first we need to solve this demand function for price that means we need to find out the inverse demand function okay solving this for p so i can write it in this fashion so uh, you know 0.5 is 1 upon 2 transposing it will become positive so we have 1 upon 2 p is equal to 250 transposing here it will get subtracted which gives us P is equal to multiple, you know, if I transpose it, it will get multiplied to each of these terms and it will get reciprocated. So we have 2 into 250 is 500 minus 2Q here. Okay, simple, uh, you know, operations here. Now, this is our inverse demand function. First, we need to find out the total revenue or total revenue is simply being given us as price into output. Okay, price function we calculated as 500 minus 2Q. To this, we multiply the output. We know that total revenue is simply, uh, you know, the output sold times the price of each, uh, you know, output. That is the total revenue or sales revenue. So, we have here 500Q minus 2Q square. This is our total revenue function. Now we need to maximize our sales revenue. Okay, if this is our sales revenue, to maximize it, we need to find out the marginal revenue, and we set that equal to zero. Okay, so uh, let me write it here: uh, revenue maximization requires that our marginal revenue should be equal to zero. And graphically, what exactly does this mean? Simple thing. If we have this simple graph, we have output on this side and total revenue on this side. This is our revenue function. And let me draw the graph. It is a quadratic one and its origin is, you know, it will go through zero because we don't have any constant term here. So this is our revenue function total revenue function we need to find out the out, output level where our total revenue will be maximum that means uh, the slope of the this uh, revenue function should be equal to zero and it o will occur at this point at this point the slope is equal to zero that means where our marginal revenue is equal to zero okay at this point slope is equal to zero when we say slope we mean the marginal revenue okay so that means we need to take the derivative of this function that means we have marginal revenue is equal to the derivative of total revenue with respect to output and we set it equal to zero taking derivative derivative of q is one here in this 500 q so we are left with 500 minus derivative of q square in this 2q will be so this becomes 2 to the 4q okay by power function rule and we set it equal to 0 solving for q so we have 4q is equal to 500 
which gives us q will be equal to 500 upon 4 okay i'm just saying some steps here so this is 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 so this becomes 20 4 fives are 20 that means at an output level of 120 sorry 125 our sales revenue will be maximized okay simple thing to find the sales revenue maximization uh, you know set marginal revenue equal to zero and at that very output level our uh, what we call the revenue will be maximized this was first part second part is to uh, to find the profit maximizer if the goal of the firm is to maximize profit how much profit sorry how much output will he or she produce okay so we know that uh, profit is simply equal to the total revenue minus total cost total revenue we calculated in this 500 q 500 q minus 2 q square to this we subtract the total cost total cost function is uh, minus 1500 minus uh, 100 q okay so solving here so we have minus 100 q plus 500 q this becomes 400 q uh, minus 2 q square minus 1500 okay this is our profit function now profit is maximized okay so profit is maximized when our marginal profit is equal to zero okay when our marginal profit is equal to zero okay so what is marginal profit simply take the derivative of profit function with respect to output and set it equal to zero here okay that means uh, d pi upon dq derivative of q is one here so we are left with 400 minus derivative of q square is 2q so 2 twos are 4 here by power function rule derivative of a constant is obviously zero and we set it equal to zero okay so profit is maximized when marginal profit is equal to zero by marginal profit we uh, we mean the derivative of profit function with respect to output solving for q so we have 4q is equal to 400 which gives us q is equal to 400 upon 4 is 100 okay and its graph is basically like this we have this kind of graph here where we have output on horizontal axis profit on this axis vertical axis this is our profit function we have the intercept here minus 1500 okay so it will go like this okay this is our profit function and this profit is maximized when our marginal profit is equal to zero when you know at this point when the slope of the profit function is equal to zero our profit will be maximized and it occurs at an output level of 100 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you